Hey church, this is Pastor standing out by our FLC parking lot looking at the garden that's been planted in the island. Uh, you might have known that uh, I planted a few sunflowers in this area. It was supposed to be a preschool project. I talked with Carol and Shauna about uh, doing this, having the kids help me plant some sunflowers. I chose sunflowers because they're really pretty and they're pretty simple. You put the seed in the ground and then you sort of let nature take its course. Well, right after we had that idea and after we got a few things prepared, school ended because of the pandemic. So I planted all the seeds. I think I put in 15 or so, one for the students and one for the teachers and was hoping, you know, that when school started again, they'd all have something nice to look at. So uh, the sunflowers started growing. There were a few Mexican sunflowers as well. Uh, a really lovely flower that has like a sunflower kind of blossom, but is red and orange, uh, not yellow like uh, other sunflowers. All of them started to grow and they were growing really well. And then what appear to be termites started attacking the stalks, just eating them away under the surface. And so the sunflowers were looking really nice and healthy. The leaves were green and big, flexible. And then they just all started to wilt, except the one that you see growing. And... That blossom is just immense. Uh, it's taller than I am, and it's got a couple of other blossoms on there. We heard uh, on Sunday about the parable of the weeds, how the farmer uh, planted good seed. And then at night, the enemy came and planted weed seeds in there. And uh, Jesus explained the parable to say that the farmer who planted good seed was God, and the enemy who planted the weed seeds was the devil. Um, what we see here is, I'm going to call it a reverse parable of the weeds. I was very disappointed when uh, my sunflowers wilted and died. I don't know what caused it, or I didn't even know that termites went after sunflowers, but when you see how thick the stalk of the sunflower is, it's pretty fibrous. So you can see why, yeah, termites might like it. It's, it is kind of woody. But then I noticed that other things were starting to grow in our garden. I'm walking down uh, toward the end and these are zinnias while I was away while I was sleeping someone came and planted zinnias and they're starting to blossom and they're so lovely pinks and a purples and there's some that are going to be opening up pretty soon and then there are some other things that I'm not quite certain of, but it, it almost looks like this one right here. Uh, I'm going to call it a, a, a baby sunflower. You see some others right over here. Uh, the leaves look like the big giant sunflowers, and you're probably aware that there are hybrid sunflower plants. They don't all grow you know, six feet tall, like that one does. And here, maybe this is a, a good way to see it. There's the blossom, and it certainly looks like a sunflower. It's just, you know, three feet tall, rather than six. It was very frustrating, you know, in that parable. Lord, someone planted weeds among the wheat 
Should we go and pull them out? No, says our Lord. So someone came and planted flowers. And now they're starting to grow. And they're going to be blossoming before too long. You can just almost uh, hear those blossoms say, Any day now, we're going to open up any day. We're going to face the sun. We're going to open up and we're going to shine. So I noticed this the last couple of weeks. And after hearing the parable of the weeds in church and thinking about Jesus' message that the weeds and the wheat grow together, here the flowers are growing together. And what I thought was disappointing. And then dealing with loss and death. God always knows better than, than I do. And there are people who are at work when I don't even know about it. When you and I are busy working on other things, when our focus is in a different direction, you now somebody else is doing their work Somebody else is working with you. Somebody else is helping us. So, when you come to church the next time, you might not always drive back to our FLC entrance, but spin around the circle, check out the lovely garden that's back here, we can thank God that he gives people to help us and work with us to help us reflect the Lord's beauty uh, to a world that needs it. Thanks for listening and watching. Bye-bye.